Hey everybody, I'm Ivonix and this is Jade Empire, and <laughs> we have to have a debate with John Cleese, i.e. Sir Roderick. And then we gotta fight him. We are ready to set the ponies in motion, are we? Let's declare some rules and get to it. You don't mind if I make this interesting, do you? Okay. Yeah, well, I will abide by whatever requirement you set. Uh, what kind of change are you planning? I just want to make sure that this is more entertaining than simply blathering about whose walls are higher or whose philosophers really know what's what. Okay. It will be a simple matter. Five judges, six topics. I'll pose my argument about why your foolish land stumbles like a child, and you try to answer. The judges will raise their arms to indicate whom they favor. Arms up for you, arms down for me. After six topics, if you have a majority, you are the winner. After six topics, great. Like the Queen's corset, if you get them all on your side at any time, I'll declare the match over. Now, shall we proceed? All right. I shall endeavor to enlighten you. <laughs> I will pull no punches, and I expect no mercy on your part. Let's see which of us is truly superior. Okay. Well, Debate what should on. be my first point of contention? I know the most basic of concerns for a culture, the currency of its economy. What manner of society would use the silver coin as the basis of trade? Gold is clearly superior, which you admit by using it for important statuary. Your understanding of what determines value is flawed. Your rebuttal? Synthetic, please understand that true value transcends currency. Your stance betrays a worship of gold, laughable. Bah, you have no understanding of us. Scarcity proves gold should be reserved for a higher purpose. Um, or raging ignorant fool, you are the poor man here. <laughs> um. I don't remember, like, what the right answers are or anything. I mean, obviously, like, each of the judges likes different things, but, um. I think just, like, being flat out, like, mocking and raging or, the, or like, don't necessarily get you very far. So I guess for this one, I'll go with, uh, sympathetic. Please understand that true value transcends currency. Well, a majority on your side. Oh yeah, three of them. Is not over yet. Three of them, like that for us. I call attention to the arrogance of your empire. You simply assume that all lands outside your borders are the domain of barbarians and monsters. You oh. sit here thinking while far off Put land. too soon or too late. Direction, not unlike what I am attempting with you. Okay. We do not wish to impose ourselves on others. We know outsiders are uncivilized. Look at you. <laughs> your attempt is failing. How does this strengthen your argument? Such expansion must be controlled. The conquered are volatile. Or we don't want to earn the same hatred we feel for you. Hmm, my my. Uh, sit here thinking while we're far off land. Yeah, not, not unlike what I'm attempting with you. Your attempt is failing. I guess. I mean, yeah, how does that... Yeah, we'll see. D Come on, let me click dismissive. Well, a majority on your side, but the debate is not yeah, over I lost, yet. Lost one, one and gained one. Shall I draw attention to your foolish reliance on personal combat? You've got strange dragon powder arms, but you waste them on spectacle and flying chariots. Well, that's because... Any decently civilized people would have developed a proper array of personal sidearms by now, like old Mirabel here. The musket. <laughs> we don't want such destruction unleashed on our land. You are obviously hiding lack of ability elsewhere. Simple toys, we have no use for them. At close range, the advantage you claim... You claim to have disappears. A coward's trinket, we would feed it to you. Oh, well, for the martial artist, this one seems to be the the best answer. Factual, close range, the advantage you claim to have disappears. My monocle must be I got it. I can't see anyone in my favor. No, I won. So it fuck you. It appears they've reached a consensus against you. I only need. Roderick. Okay. Yeah, he did. He did say if they were all on my side in time, then it's over. Of fairly comparing one of their own to an outsider. This is a farce. 
You're the one who set the rules. Yeah, you decide the rules. We have acted fairly. Then perhaps it was my mistake to think you would be open to anything other than your own backwards ideals. Puh! I seek satisfaction. You have bested me in debates, but true honor is decided on the dueling field. Oh boy. If that is your wish, I will meet you in combat. You are armed with explosives. That is hardly fair. I teach you a lesson in proper respect, dog. Uh... Yeah, if that's your wish, I'll meet you in combat. The entry hall here has walls to be up against, corners to be backed into, and floor enough on which to be down but not out. Whatever your metaphor, I'll beat it. Got it. Return to me when you are ready, and we will walk there together, just to ensure that no one gets lost or suffers an accident that would prevent a fair fight. Uh-huh. Frankly, I don't know what you people are capable of. <laughs> I... I'll see I return Quickly now, see Sir how Roderick I, uh... von Fontelbottom, the magnificent bastard, is not one to let a duel grow stale on the vine. Got it. <laughs> yes. Well, we can do this okay. I like how we like the the, the the background chatter for him is just him like mumbling and shit. Is <laughs> that? Uh, did I get these book stands? Long couch. No, I did not. Apparently. Physical universe, a final word. Okay. All right, let's do it. Ah, there you are. Well, are we ready for this duel, or are you going to slink away again? Come on, I'm ready now, let's begin. What? Good, let's get this over with so I can return to schooling the rest of your fellows. I envy you. You are about to experience for the first time the skill that has forged an empire and traveled the world. Uh -huh. There will be pain as well, but I imagine it will be almost worth it. Oh boy. So his fucking gu- oh shit, yeah, his gun hits really fucking hard. And I just set myself on fire. Oh man. This is not good. Challenge is just getting close enough to him right in the beginning. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the challenge is just getting to him before he fucking kills you in two or three shots. <laughs> that was a, a fine display of skill. Yeah, I kicked your ass. Yes, old boy, you've got it right. I was really sat down, I believe. Damn it. <laughs> like the fall of the old bridge across the Grand. My humors are in disarray, I tell you. I suppose I should have seen it coming. Your win in the debate was a sure sign. I do believe I have underestimated the lot of you. Regardless, you have beaten me. That's a point of honor I cannot deny. It was not your day. Well, there's no other thing for it. Intended or not, You've earned a reward from me. The unsuccessful combatant in a duel must arrange a worthy gift for the victor. I wouldn't be much of an ambassador for my country if I didn't abide by its customs. The Duchess of Almsbottom's rules of engagement are quite clear on this matter. Uh, I prefer something useful. Your weapon, for example. Physical strength is the quality I'm interested in. I'm interested in improving my mind. I'm concerned with spiritual matters. Have you encountered any interesting gems? So... I'm guessing that what could any of these could give me a boost to, you know, uh, body focus or chi. But, yeah, I, I'm just, want, I want his gun. Mirabelle is yours. Treat her well. She's a finicky lady. Right, first of all, fluff my traveling trousers. We will darken this garden no more. My traveling trousers. And there he goes. Style gained, Mirabelle. Sweet. I still have not leveled up. Come on. Well, that was fun. Where to next? Let's go talk with Scholar... Scholar What's-His-Face, who was over this way. Choose to... No! Strain Do not... Not trying to talk to you, I'm trying to use the focus shrine. There we go. Scholar Dongao. Hello, sir. Welcome, friend. The lecture won't be starting for a little while, though your enthusiasm is appreciated. I wouldn't worry about seating. 
those interfering philosophers had made sure that very few people will be attending the lecture. Uh, can you tell me where to find the Inquisitor Recruiter? <laughs> what? Huh, that's quite, quite a question. I'm not sure who told you, but I'd appreciate it if you would keep your voice down when asking those kinds of questions. Nobody here suspects me to be anything but an overzealous scholar, and I'd like to keep it that way. So you want to know about the Recruiter? Yes. You have a flying machine, do you not? Yes, I know about that. Go back to the landing area and someone will meet you there. Um... Why should we meet there? The location is public, yet relatively private. Common folk are not welcome on the landing area, so there will be no crowds to hide spies. Or an ambush. Understood. Tell the Inquisitor recruiter I'll be there. He already knows, I'm sure. <laughs> now go, and I will not speak to you about this any further. Your course is set. The Inquisitor will be waiting at your camp. Appease him, and you'll be on the road to appeasing me. Alrighty. Back to our camp, I guess. Okay. I am healed. Oh, this is where we uh, fought Sir Roderick. Hmm. Where did I get this book stand? No, I did not. Okay. Alright, here we are. Hi, ho folks! You there, Sky. I see you skulking around like a ghost. Where have you been? I've been out spying on the Lotus Assassins. We we're trying to draw their attention, and I wanted to see if it was working. I'm happy to report our bait has snagged a fish. The Inquisitors have taken notice of us. In fact, one of their representatives is on his way here now. Oh boy. You were spying on an Inquisitor, and he didn't notice you? Impossible. What's really going on, Sky? Where were you? So suspicious. Uh huh. <laughs> Knock it off the Inquisitor could be here any moment. Good question. Where did you go, Sky? Relax! Sky told us where he was. Where'd you go, Sky? It's like I told you before, I was spying on the Lotus Assassins. At great personal risk, I might add. Instead of interrogating me, you could show me some gratitude. Sorry. The Inquisitors are masters of espionage and intrigue, Sky. They would have seen you tailing them. They would have seen you and killed you. You underestimate me. I can be quite invisible when necessary. I followed the Inquisitor for some time without him being aware of my presence. Then I slipped away and rushed on ahead to warn you he was coming. I didn't want him to catch us in the middle of anything incriminating, like this argument. Uh, he's right. Just drop it. Ah. There's a chap now. Hello. Irkana. So, you have an interest in the Lotus Assassins. Very few people risk our attention by seeking us out in public. What happened to you, buddy? I find your bold nature refreshing, but we're, we under Death's hand recruit only the very best. All others are cast down before us. So I ask you, why have you sought us out? Why shouldn't I just kill you where you stand? I wish to be part of the true power behind the throne. I want to join the Lotus Assassins. You could try to kill me. You'd fail. But you could try. <laughs> you dare to threaten a Lotus Assassin? The bravery of such a reckless act is impressive, though I wonder about the intelligence behind your words. <laughs> But well, your point is well taken. You have shown some inkling of promise merely by drawing our attention, but that alone is hardly proof of your worth. Obviously, we, we, we require some type of test, some proof of loyalty before any can join. You must prove yourself useful to us before we will even consider you. What do you want me to do? There's a small problem I intend to deal with, a minor annoyance, but one that should prove a good test of your value to our organization. 
Judge Fang of the Ministry of Harmony has made a habit of openly defying our order. In the past, we have tolerated him, as few pay his accusations any heed. Judge Feng. Judge Feng has a rather unsavory reputation because of his degenerate appetites must have dismissed his warnings out of hand until now. So it's changed. A certain minister named Sheng is coming to make his annual report, sharing his information about certain activities our group we wish of our of our group we wish to keep from the public. If Judge Feng learns of these activities from Sheng's report, he may have enough evidence to cause real problems for us. We would have to take drastic action. But we prefer to deal with these things before they become problems. I was going to do this myself, but this could be a good opportunity to prove yourself. What do you want me to do? Minister Sheng is staying in a new ministry hostel. Ah, that... Okay, yeah, this is what the hostel was involved with. Um, an, in a new ministry hostel in the wealthy district of the city, Judge Fang spends most of his time at the arena watching the fights. The ultimate goal is to prevent Minister Sheng from delivering his report to Judge Fang. How you accomplish that is up to you, and is the true essence of the test. Remember, an Inquisitor is not a common thug. We leave that to the Executioners. We know that disgrace is a far greater punishment than death. Do not expect any help from the Lotus Assassins with this task. You will have to prove you can succeed on your own before we will, leave. We will even consider you for our organization. This will be easy. Perhaps, perhaps not. In any case, I wish you luck in your endeavor. Remember, don't let Shen give his report to Judge Fang. We will be watching you from afar. Once you have completed your task, I will meet you back here. And he leaves. You know, far be it from me to presume, but I have an idea of how we might be able to solve this problem. Really? What's your plan? My glorious wife's third cousin is a minor official in the Ministry of Harmony. I know a little something of the way Judge Fang conducts his business. Do you now? All of Fang's ministers bring him an honor gift when they go to see him. An offering given as a sign of respect. A, a, a bribe, some might call it. If we replace Sheng's honor gift with something insulting, uh, rare turtle eggs, for example, Fang would be so outraged he'd refuse to even listen to Sheng's report. Rare turtle eggs? Turtle eggs, are you serious? It's true. A gift of turtle eggs would be as insulting as a box of manure. Even more so, because they are so difficult to track down, whereas manure is somewhat common. I admit there are still some details yet to be worked out, but acquiring the eggs is easy. I have some here that you can simply have. Why Why are you carrying around turtle eggs? Oh, well, I, I was saving them for my coming anniversary. You can <laughs> early you want them to be... Right. It doesn't really matter, does it? There are more daunting problems to consider. For example, how will you sneak past Sheng's guards to make the switch? We should just kill Sheng. Nice and simple. Kill his guards, too. And while we're at it, we could kill Fang and his guards, too. Unleash rivers of blood in the streets, all in the service of the Lotus Assassins. Now that is how you interrupt the bureaucratic process. I'm all for it. You're an idiot. <laughs> What's the matter, Zeus? Your little blood. I think Zoo is being sarcastic. I am no coward, but there is already more blood on my hands than I can ever wash clean. You know this. No need to be dramatic. I have no plan for you. No easy answer. But working with the Lotus Assassins is a bad idea. No good can ever come of it. It's all a ruse, dude. Don't really worry. Don't have any choice, Zoo. It's the only way we'll ever rescue Master Lee. I don't like the idea of causing trouble for Shang. Maybe we should investigate Fang in the arena first. We might be able to stop him from getting that report without hurting Shang, or anyone else. Maybe you're right, Dawnstar. I just hope that in the end we don't sacrifice everything for the sake of one man, even if he is your beloved Master Lee. 
It's up to you how we handle this, but remember that the Inquisitors aren't just thugs, they're more subtle. Alright. You received turtle eggs. We can talk to Zon Zonstar, Dawnstar, and Zoo. And Sky. Wait, oh no, no, wait. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's talk with Zoo first. I trust your plans go well, despite the dangers you face and inflict. Is there something I can do for you? Uh... What are your feelings on the Imperial City? How powerful are the Lotus Assassins here? They are as powerful as fear allows them to be. Not the specific information you were looking for, I'm sure, but you did ask about my feelings. If their tactics have not changed, everyone fears them as children fear the shadows, never knowing what might come. They sound more, more like outlaws than an arm of the Emperor. They are not outlaws. Their I... orders come from Death's hand, and he is the will of the Emperor. At least, that is how it was meant to be. Pardon my outburst. Every act of the Assassins has the approval of the Emperor. We were supposed to reflect his glory. That is why some actions should never have been ordered. Are you, are you referring to the incident that prompted your exit? The Lotus Assassins were once the Order of the Lotus under Prince Ken, spiritual advisor to the Emperor. During and after the attack on Dirge, changes were made. As flames seared the sky, enemies of the Emperor faced a new threat. Death's hand. He assumed command of our order, and we began silencing people. Some were killed only to serve as warnings. Others... Others had done nothing except be near his enemies. You were ordered to kill innocents? Why even consider it? I am no stranger to death. That alone is not enough to disturb me. But I see only weakness in targeting innocents. Peripheral to the real enemy. Weakness suggests losing the right to rule. Can you see how that shook my faith in the Empire? You seem to see why I had concerns. Perhaps you might understand. I have not said everything, and I have not yet decided if I will. But I see something in you that may set things right. We will see. Hmm. For now, what else do you need? Um... Uh, that's enough for Goodbye. now. Goodbye. Okay, let's talk with Dawnstar. Yes? What do you need? I'd like to get that business with Minister Shang out of the way. She worries about the poor minister, a man she would despise in any other circumstance. <laughs> um... Is there anything you want to talk about? I was thinking about the Imperial City. It is such an expansive place with a great deal of history. But my... My gift lets me see other things as well. Glimmers of the past. What kind of things have you seen? It is deep and layered. The lives of people spent in the shadow of the wall. Working, dying, never leaving. All their experiences have left marks upon it. The stones echo with their passing. Sometimes, I can almost hear their voices. Why haven't you mentioned this before? I... I get hints, but nothing that seems useful. They are visions that are possible, or that have possibly been. They are very strong in the city. But they overlap as well. It has history, ages of history, and much of it is covered in blood and misery. And not all of that is in the distant past. There are dark currents I cannot see clearly. The threads of fate are woven in the city, or will be. Does that make sense? I don't know anymore. Don't know if you're looking forward or back. Got it. <laughs> Neither do I. Give it a rest. <laughs> Have you seen anything that can be of help? Any spirits that can speak clearly are asking for help themselves. The world is upside down. It seems like there is so much more at stake than just our master's safety. I am worried, but I know you'll be able to set things right. Let's let's get going. I feel a chill. Good talk, Dawnstar. Okay, Sky. Always happy to help. What do you need? What's on your mind right now? Dawnstar has been telling me about two rivers, the Swamp and Gal the Lesser. I was sorry to hear about your town. You're a woman with a knack for finding trouble. You were the one facing down three pirates alone not too long ago. <laughs> I didn't say it was a bad thing. We're kindred spirits, you and I. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Why? Seriously, why are you doing this? Details aside, you're fighting the Empire as a whole when you oppose the Lotus Assassin's Death's Hand or the Emperor's Will. 
Yeah. I know all about your village and your master, and that explains some of it. What it doesn't explain is your drive, your strength. What gives you that? People are suffering. I'm gonna find out why and fix it. It is a matter of honor. My home must be avenged. The Emperor destroyed those who would have taught me to fully use my abilities. Never question my motivations. They're mine alone. Um. People are suffering. I wonder if fate cast this burden upon you, or if you rose up on your own to shoulder it. History will probably decide. I know you're going to follow Silk Fox's plans to find a way into the Assassin's Den. It won't be easy, but I'm confident we'll succeed. It's what happens after you find a way in that has me worried. You're worried about me? That's sweet of you. I can look at it for myself. Oh, I the concern. Uh... That's sweet of you. What can I say? You're a source of constant excitement in my life. I'd hate to lose that. What kind of excitement are we talking about? All kinds. Trust me. Let's not get too far off topic, though. This is important. Oh, uh, why the concern? I knew men and women who were drawn to the Lotus Assassins. They went into that place to prove themselves, as you intend to. And the few who made it back out were... different. They'll have to kill me before they change me, um... Different how? They acted like they didn't know us, or just didn't care if we lived or died. Brainwashed. It's hard to say if there's even a difference to the Lotus Turned Assassins. Turned into psychopaths. I know you'll be fine. The Assassins will be lucky if you don't bring the place down around their ears. Just be sure not to tip your hand before you're ready. That's all in the future, though. We should keep it what we're doing. There's a lot left to tackle before we're done. Talk to you later, Sky. Of course. I'll be here if you need anything. So... I am healed. Oops. What am I going to do? I'm ruined. That's nice. So we could go seek out, um... Fang. In the arena, or we could just go straight to the hostel. Where's the, uh... Ah! Come on. So the Imperial Arena is right there. I think I'll go there first. Investigate. Investigate Fang. Before uh, just going and sabotaging Sheng. See if there's anything we can find. Where's the way in? That's why my men brought you to me. I wanted to finish this personally. But I... Don't even try to make this better. You should have won that fight, Zhang. But you suddenly developed that blind spot, didn't you? Did the glint of silver get in your eye? Joe, honestly, I... <laughs> well then. You needed something for to witness it, one? For to witness it? For to witness it? I need to speak with you in private. It seems Warrior Zhang has decided to retire. Ouch. I'm finished here. If you're here to fight, do what they tell you. What just happened? You couldn't see for yourself? I was just retired from the Imperial Arena. Guess my spot in the roster is yours if you want it. Go find Kui the promoter if you think you can fill my shoes. He's always upstairs in the third room over or so, and looking for new blood. I'm taking what I have left from my winnings and leaving. Bye. Okay. Where can I find out information about, a? Uh... Fang. Does the bet taker know anything? What did you possibly want? You're not here to bet, are you? Betting's only open when there's a match on, and right now, I don't see hundreds of people screaming at me, so I can assume there's no match on. When will there be a bet match to bet on? When Queed the promoter gets around to setting one up. Go bother him if you really have to know this instant. Okay. Of course, he'll take one look at you and say, there's a new fish to throw into the ring. Good money if you fight for him, but that's your business and no care of mine. 
you want to find Kui, he'll be up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, should we get back to Good. standing there? Good. You do that. I need all the quiet I can get before the matches start. Have to build it up so I don't go insane when the crowds come. All right. So he's useless. Scroll stand. Imperial champions. Thunderous Tauron. Welcome. It's always good to see a new face at the counter. If you've got silver to spend, I'll be happy to help you out. I'm known as Thunderous Tauron, and you are my most honored customer right now, so you have all of my attention. Do you have anything I might be interested in? You look like a warrior to my eye, probably not fit for the odds and sods the usual patrons might pick up. Okay. Stop by again. Yeah, whatever. Arena guard. I'm grabbing a drink as soon as I get off shift. Good for you. Uh. Hi. There are rumors flitting about the city. No. The attention. No. 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 Leave me alone. These rumors come from the palace itself, leaving me intrigued. You are a novice with no standing in the arena. Uh, nope. Uh, I didn't want to talk to you, buddy. I'm the most skilled fighter here. Let's be a little arrogant for once in our lives. Then show it with your skills, not your mouth. Anyone can talk about their victories. I need people who let action speak for them. Okay. If you were to knock Iron Soldier from his perch as Silver, nah. I will be here. If All right, whatever. Bye, dude. Tavern Keeper, Arena Guard. Oh. Do you know anything about Fang? This is always a pleasure to see a fine young lady at the bar. Not many people stopping by recently. Um, what? This place is busy right now. It is. I didn't notice beard customer, so it's all as you say. Now look around. It's really busy. Sue yourself. I try not to worry over minor details. Now drink. Let me ask you some questions. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click through this, see if... Alright, he doesn't seem to have anything to say about Fang. Lustful Lau? <laughs> oh god. Waitress. I'm just gonna walk around and see if I can actually find Fang. Patron. Zibao. Gambler, Gambler. Gambler Dao Shen. Spectator. Arena Guard. Gentle Breezes. That's a nice name. Oh. Hey, buddies. Excuse, excuse me. Fang Guard! Oh! Let me bast. Whoa, back up a bit there. Judge Fang doesn't like people blocking his view of the arena. Even a pretty lady like you. You might make him miss out on someone getting their nose broken, or their leg, or even their skull. He was just saying that there hasn't been a good skull fracture for at least a week. It's put him in a foul mood. Wow. Can I speak to Judge Fang? Not without an appointment. And his schedule's full for the next month. All the ministers are coming in from the outlying towns to make their reports. If he's not meeting with a minister, he's relaxing here. Hoping to see somebody beaten to a quivering pulp in the ring, or maybe torn apart by one of the animals. Yeah, that or he's taking a break with breezes. Ah. Poor girl. No amount of silver is worth what she does for him. Uh, who is Breezes? Gentle Breezes. She's Fang's, uh, concubine. Oh, she's, she's, she's right there. She's over the next room with the common folk. Fang doesn't like to be seen with her in public. He, uh, doesn't mind her getting up close and personal when they're in private, though. The things she does for him. I'll be going now. Good idea. Come back next month. Fang might be taking appointments by then. Alright. Hello, Gentle Breezes. Forget it, lady. I stick with male clients, and right now I'm on Judge Fang's payroll. He doesn't like me branching out to make money on the side. Unless you're into something twisted, then he might want to watch. Fang's always looking for some new perversion to make his little soldier stand at attention. Perhaps I, you can help me. Tell me more about Fang. Judge Fang's the head of the Ministry of Harmony. He's sitting in the next room with his guards, likes to come and watch the arena fights. The blood and the beatings in the ring get his fever burning for later. Sometimes that bastard takes it out on me. Other times he makes me take it out on him. He doesn't seem to care either way. There are few things more twisted than Judge Fang's idea of a fun night. 
I want you to help me get rid of Fang. <laughs> or why do you work for him? You don't like Fang much, do you? I hate him. He's a vile, repulsive deviant. He likes to hurt. When things are bad, a man like that leaves scars. Emotional and physical. Look, I've been around. I know people do strange and disturbing things behind locked doors. But nothing like this. There's no act too brutal or shameful for Judge Fang. He's into all sorts of things, and he's no stranger to pain. I know that all too well. Why do you work for him? I've thought about quitting. Every night. But I heard what happened to the last girl who tried to leave Fang. He's not the kind of man you just walk away from. He... He sees me as a possession. His possession. He's not just going to let me go. He's got the wealth and power to find me wherever I run. I'm stuck with Judge Fang until he's tired of me. I've come to accept that. It's a hard, grim fact. But at least he pays well. I want you to help me get rid of Fang. Get rid of him? What do you mean? Remove him from office or something else? I want to ruin his career. Really? I was hoping you wanted <laughs> to kill him. The world would be a better place with that disgusting pig dead and buried. But as much as I want to see his bloated corpse floating in the gutter, Fang is a dangerous man and he keeps my pockets lined with silver. I hope Fang gets what he deserves, but you'll have to do it without my help. Damn it! And with Fang gone, you can finally be free. Fang has to pay for how he's treated you. Help me with Fang and I won't break your legs. God. Here's 900 silver if you help me. Let's, let's see if intuition works. With Fang gone, you can finally be free. No. Failure! Damn it! Even if I was willing to give up all that silver, if Fang finds out, he'll make sure I spend the rest of my days begging for death. It's not worth the risk. Um... 900 silver if you help me? Well, that is a lot of silver. And I'd love to get out from under Fang's boot heel. I'll help you. You wanted Fang dead, No! Right? No, I didn't want him dead. The Inquisitors prefer subtle solutions. Murdering yeah. the Chief Minister doesn't quite fall into that category. No, I just want to ruin him. It'd be easier to kill him. Fang's reputation is already as dirty as it can get. As long as it doesn't get in the way of his job, everybody just turns a blind eye. There's got to be some way to turn him down. To bring him, turn him down to bring him down. Well, every document Judge Fang approves has to be stamped with his Imperial Ring. Losing the ring is a major offense. And if it was revealed he lost the ring during one of his sexual escapades... Even Fang wouldn't want that to come out. Bring me the ring, and I'll blackmail him into resigning. What are you doing here, Breezes? You know I don't like it when people see us together in public. Don't be mad, my mighty and manly Fang. I was just hoping we could go upstairs for a bit. I've got a treat for you. Here's a hint. They're silk. I'm surprised you're so eager after last night. I'm glad to see you're finally becoming more receptive to my uh, special needs. Mm. The way he's walking. <laughs> the fuck? Well done, Breezes. If a little tame for my tastes. I think tonight you should wear the blindfold. I have some interesting surprises in store for you. Oh, God. I... I can hardly wait. Oh, great and virile Fang. Here's the ring. Fang will do anything to keep people from finding out he lost it to a whore, even if it means resigning his post. Show the ring to his guards and they'll let you through. I better disappear for a while, but make sure you tell him where you got it. He'll be sorry he ever touched me. All right, got Judge Fang's ring. Minus 900 silver. Hello. Look, uh, we already told you, Fang doesn't want to be bothered. He just wants to relax and watch the arena fights. Yeah, he doesn't get his daily fill of blood, violence, and gore. He'll be snarly all day. And he's hard enough to work for when he's in a good mood. I've got Fang's Imperial Ring. How did you get... No, forget it. I don't want to know. You better go talk to Fang about that ring. Yeah, we don't want any part of this. Good decision. Some of these. Hey! Do you mind? 
How can I enjoy the crack of bone, the screams of pain, and the glorious geysers of crimson blood down in the arena with you bothering me? Or are you here to offer your services for later? Normally, I prefer women who reek of the gutter, but I'm willing to branch out if you beg me. I want you to resign your post, Fang. Is that so? <laughs> Let me guess. Some sense of moral outrage at my perversions, no doubt. Well, my tastes are already well known at the Imperial Court. Nobody cares about my predilections. As long as I don't let my activities interfere with my duties as a judge. Your activities cost you your Imperial Ring. My ring? But how... That harlot. I should have suspected something when she came to me willingly. Usually I have to command her presence. You are a piece of shit. Well, it seems you have me in an awkward position. I can't let it be known that I was foolish enough to let a whore steal my ring. I would lose my position. So, what is it you want from me? Silver? An Imperial posting? What? I heard told you. You're going to step down, Fang. Give me a letter of resignation right now. Of course. Now I understand. The Lotus Assassins are behind this, aren't they? I should have known something like this would happen. They tried to bend me to their will, but I'm not easily broken. Or so I thought. Are so you, you proud of yourself? Bowing and scraping at the feet of your Lotus Assassin masters? Helping them to bring me I down? Mean, considering you're a terrible person anyway. It, I mean, no skin off my nose. Um, I'm proud to get a man like you out of office. You think I'm an evil man, don't you? You think my soul is rotten and corrupt. But at least I have a soul. The same cannot be said for those you now serve. The Lotus Assassins destroyed me. But now that I am gone, I wonder where their attention will turn next. Keep a close watch over your shoulder, friend. Yeah, yeah, fuck off. My resignation is on the table. Take it and stamp it with my Imperial Ring yourself. Sweet. Well, we got that. Handily taken care of without, um... Oh, wow, he just vanished into fucking thin air. Uh, well, we got that taken care of without, um... Having to sabotage Sheng. <laughs> Even though Sheng isn't a particularly likable character either, but... Anyway, uh... Where did Silk Fox go? Oh, there she is. Anyway, um, we'll save heading back in a... Meeting with the Inquisitor again um, for the next Hidden Empire video because I'm going to end this one here. But for now, thanks for watching. Until next time, rock on.